you are you, the audience, are not part of these people called the Nobel Prize winners, don't worry, because Mendeleev never got it. <laughs> so let's do good science. And OK, if we are selected, we are happy about it. Huh? You have too much to do. <laughs> I have learned how to say no. Yes, <laughs> so uh, we have a mission, which is also to bring science to the society. And it's unbelievable how little science is in society. And Ben, just, I have not finished yet, but I would like you to tell right now that story which you told me about in the taxi when we came here. I was at a meeting in The Hague to talk with high government officials who make the programs for innovation in the country. And they said, are there molecules in my body? That's incredible, huh? And so I was so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> that I want, these are the high officials eh, that make, make things in, in the countries happening. I was so shocked. I wanted to say, Shakespeare is a Barcelona soccer player. <laughs> but uh, this is the level of understanding. So we have to find ways for science to, to work properly, to protect new ideas. I, which are still fragile and has not developed against this global competition, against this need to advertise all the time. And this was not the case in the past because the physics community and the scientific community was much smaller and people could work independently. After all, Einstein worked alone. He never asked for any grant. And his ideas were very controversial when he started. Uh, I don't mean that uh, uh, by just changing the rules, we will have a new Einstein immediately, but, uh, but uh, I think this is a very important issue. People have to know that uh, and to realize that basic research gives you means which develop in many, many different ways, which are difficult to predict where it will go, but if it's new, there's a good chance that it will be applied, something will come out of it. But you need a lot of people. And here one has to recognize also the engineers, even the people who are ready to give the money for something they don't know yet if they make money with it. Huh? You know, we are here at the Park Scientific, and that says already something. There are tremendous opportunities to join university groups together with industrial groups. First of all, stimulate your students to start to get startups when you have a good idea. And I, I, in the natural sciences, there's plenty of opportunities. Of course, there will be failures, but don't be afraid, because we should try to start new things. And this is also a fantastic stimulus for academic groups, because we have to start with fundamental questions and then look and talk with our colleagues from industry and see, oh, could this ever go to a potential application or whatever? And so for the training of the students, many of them who end up in industry anyway, it is, it is offers fantastic opportunities. So I see it also as a, uh, uh, an opportunity to, to train our students and to bring them forward. Of course, not everybody should play his own role. Eh? We should not, we as a university group, we are not an engineering group that develops a product to the market. That is the typical role that a company can do. They can see the ins and outs, and it usually it's a long way, as Jean-Marie mentioned. <laughs>